Bed bugs have been a serious problem for the past 15 years or so, and they're getting worse every year. So our group here is doing a number of different projects on bed bugs. Most importantly, how do bed bugs find us? How do bed bugs find the host from which they need to take a blood meal? One of the critical issues with bed bugs is that the current pest control approaches that we have are either ineffective in a case of many of the insecticides that we have or extremely expensive in a case of, for example, heat treatments. So we see the future as developing what we call a liquid bait for bed bugs. A liquid bait would have four different components. The first component is to get the bed bug from wherever it is to the bait. The second component is once the bed bug gets there, we need to entice the bed bug to feed or to engorge on the bait as if it were a human. The third component then of this liquid bait formulation would be the insecticide. It doesn't necessarily need to be a synthetic insecticide. It can be a biological control agent, for example. It could be a virus or a fungus or a bacteria that kills the bed bug. And of course, the fourth component of this bait would be to try to use an insecticide or a biological control agent that after the bed bug feeds, it can defecate in its aggregation and therefore expose its family to either the biological control agent or the insecticide. And so you can have sort of a domino effect or an amplification effect. And so these are the four important components of a liquid bait. We think that this Chancellor's Innovation Grant will really speed up and move us forward faster towards developing this liquid bait concept. If we look at the bites that bed bugs cause, we look at the allergies that they cause, we look at the secondary infections that people get from scratching at these bites. When we look at uh, sleeplessness, um, especially amongst the elderly, uh, it can cause tremendous anxiety and sleepless sleeplessness. Bed bugs are actually a very important public health concern. And uh, so I think it's important to convince both the public and federal agencies that bed bugs indeed are a very important medical concern.